Hey besties, thank you so much for being here. I hope everyone is having such a great day. It's early morning and for whatever reason when I film in the morning, my voice literally sounds so much deeper and raspier, so I hope that's okay. But in today's video, we are going to be talking all about the new Kylie Cosmetics Tinted Butter Balms. You guys, when I got this package in the mail, I just want you to know my package was so busted. Let me show you. You can even see like right here. It was all busted out on the side, so I'm lucky nothing fell out. And then, yeah, it just looks like it's definitely been through a time. It's been through some things, but thankfully it did get to me and it didn't really affect the bomb. By the way, I completely skipped like my intro, things I usually say. Um, my scent of the day is... Carolina Herrera Good Girl Blush and comment down yours if you like. I would love to know your scent of the day as well as all the makeup on my face will be linked down below as well as these lip balms. And besties, as soon as I saw this launch, I immediately related it to the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glows, which I absolutely love. I love the colors. I love the formula. The feel on the lips is so incredible. They do have that really beautiful plumping, tingling sensation sensation going on which I love that cooling effect. I'm not sure if that's in here but these are $22 for 0.08 ounces. These are $18 for 0.08 ounces. So a little bit cheaper which I do expect from Kylie. Makeup by Mario ain't cheap. Neither is Kylie but it is a little bit cheaper usually but we'll see if the packaging on both of these is similar. There were six shades available but I decided to start with three just to make sure we actually like the formula first and then if I do enjoy it I will probably do a swatch party like I tend to do. On Kylie's website so far these have four out of five stars and it says my tinted butter balm offers 12 hour hydration and great color payoff and rich with a hobo oil this buttery smooth formula moisturizes smooths lines and instantly softens dry lips for a shiny pigmented finish okay they're supposed to be pigmented i am very excited let's go ahead and start I want to start with Kylie because it looks like the most me shade, but let's go ahead and start with the lightest, which is Love That For You. Love That For You. And this one is just described as a peachy nude. Okay, I'm not trying to put them against each other. I'm just using this for reference. This does feel better in my hand than the Kylie one. This one definitely does feel cheaper. And it is, so, you know, just putting that out there for you. Same thing as the Makeup by Mario as well, where you are twisting up for that product. And then you can't put it back down once you do. It doesn't really have a smell. Okay, immediately, this is very pigmented. I want to say more pigmented than the Makeup by Mario, but I haven't wore that one in a while. That does feel really nice on the lips. The more you apply, the more coverage you're going to get. I like that there's no streakiness. It's just full, opaque, beautiful color here. Okay. I, I really do like this. It's very pigmented and it feels firm. It has this feel to it where it's a little thicker so it feels like it might actually last longer on the lips than something else pretty similar. That definitely has me kind of excited. The color is absolutely beautiful. See now I'm wishing that I would have got all the shades but you never know. You never know but this this is nice. I would have to let you guys know how it does last on the lips, how long and all of that. I will do a wear test if you guys want to see that. But as of right now, the shine is gorgeous. The feel is great. The look is just 
everything to me so opaque and so color rich. I, I'm pretty impressed, Kylie. I really, really am. The packaging, I just feel like you're Kylie Jenner. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are so... When I think of her, I just think of, like, luxury. So when we get, like, this type of packaging, it's just kind of like, what's going on? You know what I mean? But again, look at that beautiful finish. Stunning. It gave me like glass lips. I don't know what else to say. Let's do Kylie, which is the one I am most excited about. It's really not a big deal with the packaging, but when you are spending your dollars, it's just nice sometimes when something looks good, you know, in your vanity or whatever the case may be, in your makeup bag. Comment down below how you feel about that. Do you care? Do you not care? What matters to me the most, of course, is the product itself, which is seeming to be very beautiful. Here we have Kylie. You guys, I'm so sorry about my nails. I am trying to let them breathe a little bit, but I will get them done soon because I know they're looking super rough. I could at least file them down. Anyway, Kylie. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Definitely more me. I love pinky tones. I think she has this shade available in different formulas as well. I love this because it reminds me because it's so pigmented of a lipstick with a gloss over top. It's definitely giving two-in-one and I am so here for it. It is beautiful. What do you guys think? Like, and the color is absolutely fabulous. I'm, I'm loving this because it eliminates an extra step when you do want this type of look, when you are going for this type of vibe. So I am very impressed. I love, love, love how shiny this is. It's making my lips look very juicy, very plump. Let's go on to the third shade. I'm, I'm very happy about this. And last but not least is That's Tea, and this one is a burnt... Rose. I like the names a lot. That's tea. That's cute. All right, final color. I find this one the least flattering on me. Let me go ahead and try to sheer it out and see what that looks like. So just taking my makeup remover and lightly tapping to get that really pretty sheer tint. Yeah, I really prefer that technique with this shade specifically, but all the others, I want the full intensity, the full pigmentation. I just feel like sheared out this color for me is way better. I don't know, I just didn't find it super flattering. I'm about to give my final thoughts and opinions, but first I'm just applying that tea. I was gonna apply Kylie, but I dropped that one and I'm lazy, so this is the one we're gonna wear for today. So my overall thoughts on the Kylie Cosmetics Tinted Butter Balm is if you do like a two-in-one product, if you do like that beautiful full pigmented look with that glossy finish, I think you'd absolutely love this. And the best part is it's not super heavy feeling on the lips. Now for me personally, this is definitely different than something like this. I feel like this is much more emollient. Um, this is much more, like it kind of just melts into your lips. That's how emollient this is. And it's definitely more sheer. So if you want more pigmentation, go with this. If you do want that plumpy feel, because you're not going to get that with the Kylie, I would say maybe check out the makeup by Mario. They're both beautiful products. I would not say they're similar. I love the full pigment. And again, I love that you're getting the full pigment without a globby, heavy feeling situation on your lips. I really do like that. And again, Kylie always comes out with such good lip colors. I'm going to continue to use them. I'm going to keep you updated with the way. My camera cut me off. Um, I'm gonna keep you updated with the wear, with the longevity on these products. So far, I mean, I just really love the effect. I love the glassy finish. It gave my lips so beautiful. I am very excited to keep using these. And yeah, maybe you don't need every single shade if every single shade doesn't resonate with you, of course. 
but I would say watch a few videos, not just mine. Look at all the different shades available and make your decision that way. But yeah, you guys, I really do enjoy these. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good things. Let me know your opinions on the product thus far, and I will see you in the next one, besties. Bye!